All right, guys, welcome back here to DP Uncensored. I'm actually driving right now to Campbell High School for tonight's playoff game between the Raiders of Belmont and the Cougars of Campbell. If you don't already know, my name's Devin Poslesny. I'm your host tonight. Currently driving on 106 towing the trailer, getting whipped by wind. This is so much fun. But uh, I figured, I know that, I know in the last episode we kind of talked about how I didn't really know what I wanted the show to be. And, and some people on Instagram, I put throughout some questions for the Instagram viewers. And you guys were very responsive and very helpful on, you know, we should do more behind the scenes of DPPG and we should have guest speakers and hosts and, you know, interview teams, um, which we will do. Um, some people said that I should be more myself, which I agree with. Um, although I did also ask the question of, you know, should we use a bleep button? Because, you know, sometimes swearing is fun. And uh, we got a lot of no's to that one, which is okay. Um, not going to lie, I was kind of on the fence about using the bleep button. Um, I'm not much of a swear person, you know, unless I'm really, really fired up about something. But even then, I'll hold my tongue because I don't want to be known as that guy. Uh, the other questions were, you know, I don't even know what else I asked. I think I asked five questions or four questions and then an open-ended response or whatever. But, um... I figured that, you know, I'll just record shows when there's something I'm, I don't want to say fired up about, but more or less something I just want to talk about. And today I want to talk about, or this episode I should say, I want to talk about what we go through behind the scenes for DPPG. And, and what I mean by that is some of the more negative stuff. Um, you know, unfortunately, I'll start off with talking about this. Um, one of the crews, we have a couple of broadcast teams out there for us. One of the crews or the team's computer kept crashing. And, you know, it'd be, of course, in the least convenient times, you know, at the end of halftime, it would sit there for 10 minutes no issues, and then as soon as they're about to start the third quarter of a basketball game, it decides to say, yeah, you know what, screw off, and and uh, and, and crash. So we finally, we actually just bought, uh, got it in the mail today. We have a new device for them, and they should be using it starting tomorrow. Um, by the way, recording this, I said, on the way to Campbell High School, um, and it's Tuesday, February 15th. Uh, so when I say tomorrow, I mean Wednesday, the 16th. Um, but uh, we will get messages from people watching the stream, and they'll blame us for missing 90 seconds of a game. You know, we I'm not going to use any specific examples, nor am I going to, you know, put out names or anything, because... I'm not that type of person to, to shame somebody or, or make them feel bad or put them on the spot. But we've, we've had situations where, let's say, a uh, stream goes down for literally 60 seconds. And I can see when it, when it stops streaming to when it restarts because the, the streaming platform that we use called Blueframe Technology, they, it, it's all time-coded. You know, and it's even it's even down to the second. So like it would say like let's say six thirty and twenty five seconds. And or six thirty, twenty five, you know, whatever. So and it's it's great. It's honestly it's fantastic because like I said, I can then go back and review the data. Um, we were down for less than sixty seconds for a game. You know, the game the stream went down for literally sixty seconds. Um, from when it stopped streaming to when they restarted. And we had a parent, or a, not even, I don't even know if it was a parent. It was somebody who wasn't a player message us complaining about it. And, you know, I will say this. I get the frustration. I understand where you're coming from. You know, you're for 60 seconds or in the middle of a game, the, the, 
the bu it, the stream buffered, and in theory you could have missed something big. And it's annoying, you know. How many times if we're we're all watching Netflix or something like that, and we our internet buffers for however long, we're sitting there going, "Ugh, what the heck," you know. So I get it. But what I don't understand is when I personally I something that one of my uh, my mentors told me to say or do is never put yourself out there personally. You know, you don't want to you don't want to say, you know, thank you so much for the feedback. We apologize for the inconvenience. You know, have a good day, Devin. Like you don't want them to necessarily know that it's you that's responding. I disagree with that. I think that if you have a situation where somebody's upset with you or upset with your company and then you respond and you say you know hey we're, we're so sorry about that you know this is what happened we do apologize we're going to get the game on or we're going to if we're down for an extended period of time whatever you know we'll get the whole game up and then i'll say you know let me know if you if there's anything else we can help you with uh have a good night devin poslesny dppg owner and i will i'll um I'll sign my messages that way because I know if I reached out to a company and said, you know, hey, this is the issue I'm having or whatever, you know, polite or not, I would feel better if I got a message back with, from somebody and it was, you know, signed the owner or signed a, a CEO or a CFO or a manager or whoever because then it makes me feel like I'm not just talking to a computer. So what makes me upset is, let's say that somebody reaches out, they say, you know, this was horrendous, you know, you guys shouldn't be a company, you know, like we've had those messages where, you know, that you don't, you know, you should fire your announcer, which is always funny because I'm the announcer. Um, I, was, <laughs> I always love those ones. You should get rid of this play-by-play -play announcer. Oh, I'm sorry, who was the announcer? Devin Poslesny. Oh, okay, well... Um, we'll, we'll take that into consideration. Have a good night, Devin Poslesny. Um, <laughs> you know, think about that. Think about you calling out a company on their announcer and then the announcer replying the e email back. But, um, you know, we've had those. We've had from very nasty messages. But what makes me upset, and it, I realize I'm sidetracking myself here, but what makes me upset is when I respond all professional and, cur you know, courtesy or courteous and everything, and, and I'm just like, hey, I'm so sorry, you know. That was on us. We realized the issue. We're going to fix it. Don't worry. And then they respond back with more venom. You know, I get that you're frustrated. I understand that, you know, because of a human, a human error or a computer error or something, the live stream didn't happen or the live stream went down or, you know, something happened. You know, we understand that. We're going to do our best to fix that. Um, with in everything and in our power and yet you still feel the need to come back and say that we suck or you still feel the need to come back and say that you know so and so could have done it better I, I'm not going to lie to you and, and this is something that really really seriously gets under my skin and, and I realized that first episode of DP Uncensored was very you know cool calm and collected but now I'm going to really get into this that irritates the heck out of me. You know, who are you to sit there and, and, and say that, for one, when you may not, like, if you are another company and you understand what we're dealing with, okay, then I'm here to help you. You know, I'm here to understand that you know what you're talking about. But there are sometimes people will just go, blah, and it, they have no idea what they're talking about. And you can, and I know I can at least, usually pick that off by the wording that they're using. And, like, that just gets under my skin. And over the two or so years that I've been doing this more consistently, I've gotten very good at just saying, hey, whatever, let it go. But when I started, oh, my goodness, there were times that I just I wanted to jump through the phone. <laughs> because, unfortunately, in today's day and age, most of these people who are sitting there saying, you suck, you don't, you know, blah, 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 they're quote, unquote, keyboard warriors. You know, they're the type of people that are going to sit there and say something mean to you on your on message. But then as soon as they see you when you're in person, they're like, hi, how are you? It's so great to see you. Oh, my God. Those are the people that I don't like because it's like, really? 
you just told me to f off, but now you're acting all nice and nice and whatever. That and that is something that I will I will sit there and and preach till the day I die that you're you're being fake. You know, and that's and that's something that really gets under my skin, and something that really irritates me. And and thankfully, thankfully, we haven't had any major issues like that in the recent weeks, even in the recent months. A lot of the people who are continuously tuning into DPPG, they understand that we have a really good rapport with them. You know, they understand that that issues happen. You know, mistakes are going to happen. Um, things are going to pop up. Um, and I'm, I'm very, very, very grateful for that, um, that we've built up that relationship with these people and, and, and our supporters as well as, you know, parents and, and everybody. Um, but, man, that is, that is just something that it just, uh, it, it is just something that gets under my skin and just irritates me. And it, ah, uh, I'm even getting myself fired up right now. Like, ah, jeez, Louisa. Um, but I mean, I, just to keep this this conversation, this topic going. I mean, even this, even the same thing can be said about anything. You know, where it and it's not just messages that I'm be that I'm talking about. You know, it's it's the the people who will walk by you and they'll see what we're doing and they'll sit there and say under their breath, that seems a bit much for a high school soccer game. What? <laughs> what? 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 What is the definition of too much? You know, let me ask you that and, and ponder on this. What is the definition of too much when it comes to uh, whatever it is? You know, I can understand wholeheartedly how sometimes we can be extra. Yeah, I'm going to use the high school kid slang here. Uh, we can be extra. You know, we can show up with multiple cameras. We can show up and have a drone flying. We don't need that. But that is what sets us apart from the pack. You know, that is what sets us, that makes us different than everybody else. You know, anybody can show up to a basketball game and put their phone up and record the game. We see it all the time, actually, with parents. They want to get film of their kid. And you know what? I support that. I will wholeheartedly sit there and say until I'm blue in the face, yeah, go for it. Because video is so valuable, and everybody's different. Not everybody has the budget to, let, let's say, hire us to record their kid. And I get that, and I respect that. But what we, what we do is that much more, and we do it on purpose. You know, we, we show up to a basketball game, and we put up a wire, and we have a camera running on a zip line. Why do we need that? We don't. But then when somebody sits there and says, hey, we want to live stream this event, they turn and look at us and they go, whoa. They actually are dedicated. They're actually passionate. They want to be there. They're not just there for the paycheck. And they also have some really cool toys. And that's what sets us apart, and that's why we do it. I always say... And this, this is a line I love to say all the time. You never know who's watching your broadcast for the first time. You know, we're going to show up to this, this game in Campbell tonight. And I've never been to this gym. Never been to Campbell High School. I've always kind of wanted to because they they'll come up to us uh, in, the, in the Lakes region. And I've, I always like to go and explore new facilities. And from what I've seen there, it looks really, really nice. But I am, I'm not going to lie, I'm terrified because we've never been here. We've never tested anything. We don't know what the network situation is. You know, there's a possibility we're not going to live stream this playoff game tonight if we can't get on the network. But what the point of me bringing this up was 
I'm because of that, we are doing the bare bone basics tonight. We are showing up. We are setting up a camera in the bleachers. We are going to hit record and we're going to live stream the game with a single camera. What I should be doing is I should be showing up early like I'm going to and setting up cameras on the backboards or setting up a wire or whatever because you know Campbell High School I can guarantee you right now is promoting that we're going to be there and we might have a whole new audience to be tuning into our game coverage and we need to be different and I'm kicking myself I'm doing it strategically because of the unknowns of whether or not we'll be able to live stream or not with the network but we're we're doing like in a perfect world we should be going all out tonight but we're not and again that's strategic that is done on purpose but it, it still is something that uh, that bums me out but the whole point of me bringing this up to go full circle here is then you have people who don't understand that or don't think about that I should say and they they look at you they look down at you and say why are you doing all of this extra for a girls soccer game at Belmont High School and like they make the face and like they sit there and they basically judge you and they sit there and say, we don't get why you're going all out. Why are you setting up a wire? Why are you setting up, why do you have a drone? Why do you do this? Why do you do that? You're just so extra. You do all this extra work for nothing. It's not for nothing because you never know who's watching. But, you know, that's just an example of people who judge you because they don't necessarily understand what you're doing. And, and that's another thing, I'm not going to lie, that does irritate me. And it just, that just goes along that whole line of thought of people who just don't necessarily understand what they're talking about, who are also the first people to turn and, and say, you're wrong. When it's like, actually, I'm doing everything correct. Um, but anyways, I digress. So switching gears, um, one of the things that I know people wanted to hear more of is the behind the scenes of what we do. And let me let me talk real quick. Originally, I will say this: yesterday's or the episode you guys all listened to in the the first day with the playoff preview, that episode was originally an hour long. <laughs> um, there was a whole first part of that show that talked about what we do for playoffs and how we come up with our playoff schedule. Uh, I didn't like it. So I trashed it. <laughs> Literally. I deleted it all <laughs> and, and patched it so that the middle part of our show was the beginning part. And there you go. So when th I'm now going to revive that idea of the, how do we make a, a schedule? How do we come up with what we're going to be doing? Um, because I think, honestly, there are a lot of people out there right now wondering why or thinking to themselves, I should say, oh, of course he's going to Campbell because that's where his alma mater of Belmont is going. So, of course, he's going to go to where they are. Not necessarily true. And with that being said, I would like to explain it. But give me one second. I am now pulling on to I-93 at the exit 15 split. And if anybody is aware of Concord and how that's laid out, that is a very sketchy part of the highway. All right, we are on 93 now. Woohoo! Uh, I got 10 miles until the hook's at tolls. But anyway, so how do we come up with a playoff schedule? Right? How do we come up with a schedule at all? You know, that's a whole other conversation. But let's let's talk about the playoffs because that's irrelevant or that's relevant, not irrelevant. That is relevant right now at this time and place on this cold February day. 
how do we come up with the playoff schedule? First of all, we we predict, we, we look at the bracket, we look at the standings, and we predict roughly who's going to go where. And nine times out of ten, if you print off those, bra those state standings on Sunday before the brackets come out on Monday, they're pretty accurate, believe it or not. Um, <laughs> a lot of what I guessed on Sunday came true on Monday. Um, and some surprises that I was not opposed to, so not an issue. But when we look at our, our schedule, we first look at our core schools. Who, are, who do we normally cover in the winter months? Belmont, Winnesquam, and Guilford, those three schools. And side note, for those of you who may be from Prospect Mountain or St. Thomas or, or Interlakes who are sitting there saying, hey, so why don't you come over to us in the winter? That is ultimately because of Mother Nature. I'll throw her right under the bus. Um, it's more or less because I don't necessarily want to put myself as well as my crews in situations that they don't feel comfortable with, especially being in New Hampshire with the weather being the way the weather is. Um, like today, one of my crews is going to St. Thomas to cover Newfound at St. Thomas and boys basketball. Super excited to have that game covered. And honestly, I was nervous. And I only, well, because of the weather, and I only confirmed with them that we were going to do this game yesterday when I had confirmation that it was going to be a nice, sunshiny day. Um, <laughs> so, anyways, that's why we, don't, we mostly stay in our Lakes Region, you know, our core Lakes Region schools um, in the winter months. And I wanted, just, wanted to clear that up. So, we get the playoff schedules or brackets. We start predicting. We start saying, okay, who's going to go where? What are we going to do? Skip through that. We look at when the brackets officially come out, who is home? Who's hosting? Is any one of our core, our core schools hosting games? Guilford Boys Basketball will host on Friday because they're number one in the state. Okay, so circle that game twice. We'll be there. You know, that is one of those games that, you know, they're home. We're going to hit it up, and it's going to be a great time. Who else? Well, Guilford Girls Basketball looks like they're going to host on Wednesday against St. Thomas. Okay, circle that game twice and call it good. All right. Anybody else? Winnesquam, both their teams in the playoffs, but they're in the back half of the bracket. Okay, so they're on the road. Belmont, same deal. All right, so now we then turn and say, who and where are we going to have games on Tuesday for the first day of the playoffs, right? Well, Guilford had a first round bye. Tuesday's the boys' bracket. So Guilford had a first round bye. So what does that mean? Well, that means that Belmont and Wintersquam are playing, but because they're mid-packing in the bracket, they are going to be on the road. All right. So then we sit there and we sit there and we'll think to ourselves, where do we want to go? Do we even want to go anywhere? As most of you have seen me put out so many times on social media, we sell playoff uh, sponsorship opportunities. You know, 75 bucks, get your company seen, um, and we'll cover at least five games. So with that being said, as soon as we put that mark out there and say, you know, you're going to at least get five games for $75, that means that we need to follow through on at least five games. So that put me in a weird spot with this playoff. So we had to find games. So I said, okay, so Tuesday we have to cover a game. Winnesquam is going to Monadnock. How's that game going to go? Well, Monadnock's probably going to beat them up. All right. Belmont's going to Campbell. How's that game going to go? Honestly, I'm going to put the bold prediction out there right now. I'm on 93, headed south. Belmont's probably going to beat them. I'm not going to lie. If Belmont does not upset Campbell tonight then I'm going to drop out of high school sports. But um, but you get what I'm trying to say. Like, I think this is going to be a very good game. And that is only because of the fact that Belmont's been putting together games and wins and really, really playing. They're clicking. I talked about this yesterday on the pre playoff preview. They're clicking. They're doing well. Things are, things are happening for the Belmont team. So there's a good chance they're going to upset Campbell. All right. Who else is playing? Right, let's think about this. Who else out there is playing? Well, the winner, who's, who's going to play Guilford? 
on Friday, right? Let's think about that. All right, that's St. Thomas. St. Thomas and Newfound. All right, what are their what are their their seating? Eight and nine. That is a good game. You know, you you know that. You know that these games that are are close in the brackets, like eight and nine, or let's say seven and ten. They're good games. You know, unfortunately, the first round bracket or the first round usually consists of like number two playing number 15. And you can kind of get an idea of how that game's going to go. Um, but when you have a game that's eight versus nine, that is the game that you want to circle twice or even three times on your schedule because that's going to be a good game. And then add on to the fact that the winner of that game plays at Guilford on Friday, that's even better because then we can take, if we send a crew there, we can then take the highlights of that game and say, you know, on Friday, here, this is how so-and-so got here, you know, whoever wins. So then we talk logistics, right? This is, this is the whole thing, and this is also something that I think sets us apart from other companies. We send an email. I know, crazy, right? Woo, one simple thing. Wow. So <laughs> we send an email. We send an email to the athletic directors. You know, yesterday it was sending it to St. Thomas's AD and saying, hey, this is what we're thinking. Hey, by the way, your girls, St. Thomas's girls, are going to play at Guilford on Wednesday. We'll be there too, just so you know. Can we come and stream your game on Wednesday or Tuesday? He responds with, yeah, that's great. Perfect. All right. Same with Campbell. We called Campbell's AD, actually, um, because I had never talked to Mr. Knight down here, Josh Knight. Sounds like a great guy. I'm super excited to work with him and actually meet him. But um, he, I called him. I, I was just like, you know what? It's easier for me to make the phone call and say, hey, this is what we do, than to write it all out in an email. So I reached out to him, reached out to the ADs. As soon as the athletic directors give the green light, we are on board. We are in. And just like that, we now have to figure out our own logistics, which is always fun, figuring out our own logistics. Because like right now, actually, I'm headed to Campbell High School, and I don't have a camera operator. So there's a possibility that Mr. Devin Poslusny is going to announce, produce, and run the camera. Um, there is still, still a chance that we're going to have one of Belmont's JV boys players come and join us, um, which would be amazing um, because I always love working, um, giving more like experience and training to the younger the next generation because ultimately eventually they're going to be the ones who are going to take over for me and uh i granted i'm in their same generation but i gotta learn the habits young um so but the, like figuring out the logistics you know we're gonna send a crew to st thomas okay do we need an announcer do we have an announcer okay no announcer all right then we're gonna do this with that broadcast all right we're we gonna do this we're gonna do that all right we're gonna need this we're gonna need that okay great Another email sent to the athletic director saying, hey, these, these, these are the two people coming to represent DP Production Group at your game. Um, you know, you're going where they should be all set. This is what they're going to need from you. But other than that, they should be all self-sufficient. Um, another thing we pride ourselves on. But um, same thing with Campbell. Called the AD, said this is what I'm thinking. This is what we're hoping. He says, okay, great. And there you go. Done deal. All right, so, all right. So, that is how you have to schedule these games. And unfortunately, it's wash, rinse, repeat <laughs> for the next round. You know, thankfully on Wednesday, Wednesday was a, a night, not a nightmare, but a challenge in itself because hockey is still in their regular season. And we are, and this isn't a bad thing, 
but we're contracted to be at every Laconia Winnesquam Inter Lakes home game and every Belmont Guilford home game. So if one of those two teams are on the ice playing at home, we have to have a crew there. Again, not a bad thing. We love doing it. Um, but on Wednesday, Laconia Winnesquam Inter Lakes is, ha is playing a game. I think it's against Kennett. Don't quote me on that. And that means that we have to have a crew there. So we flip a, ultimately, we flip a coin. And not literally, but mentally, I sit down and say, does it make sense to take the crew that's been at Guilford all season and put them at the ice hockey rink and have me go to the playoff game? Or... Does it make sense for me to go to the hockey game, keep the crew at Guilford, and find an announcer who knows basketball? Prob I don't know if he knows basketball better than hockey, but I, I know he knows basketball. And that, of course, is Josh Marzal. So Josh was ultimately the determining factor in my book. Um, so Josh and my Guilford crew are going to kill, cover the Guilford girls game uh, against St. Thomas on Wednesday. Super excited for that one. That'll be a 7 o'clock tip-off. And me and my camera op, uh, Jaden McKenna, is going to go to the ice hockey rink and cover the Lakers game against, I believe it's Kennett, at 5 o'clock. But it's those types of situations that does make it a little difficult because you have to sit there and weigh your pros and cons. Thankfully, Thursday was the easiest day to schedule this week because there was nobody nobody playing. Um, but <laughs> on Friday, you know, we had we have this situation where we know we're gonna go to we're, somebody's gonna be at Guilford. The plan is is that I'll be at Guilford as well because. If Belmont wins tonight, no matter who wins the other game that they would play, they'd be on the road. Um, and same with Winnesquam. So I said, you know, regardless, I'm going to go to Guilford and I'm going to cover this game and it's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, yeah. And then Saturday is still a question mark because we have to see who wins in the girls brackets. Um, and we'll go from there. So that's that's a glimpse into roughly what I have to deal with. I had, or not deal with, work with. And I had an athletic director last winter. Remember that COVID winter season? I think he put it best. And, and I'll give him credit. It was Mr. Larson at Winnesquam who said that I'm basically an athletic director I just juggle multiple schools instead of multiple teams. And I have to and the thing that that is difficult with that is that my juggling my the 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 uh the items that I am juggling are also juggling their own items. <laughs> so what I mean by that is all right, game gets canceled. I reach out to an athletic director. Athletic director has his own stuff going on right now. You know, athletic director, they're, they are also scrambling to find a, re a make update. So that is ultimately, you know, something that I have to deal with as well. But with what, what, with what John said, um, it, it's true. You know, we... I sit down on any given day, and, and I'll talk about this come spring sports season, but beginning of the seasons, I sit down, and I have three computers in front of me, one with each of the schools on it, or, like, for the winter, it was three computers. In the fall, I think I had three computers, an iPad, and my phone, <laughs> you know? Like, I had five or six screens in front of me to show me all the schedules, you know, who's playing where and what what importance is that game going to have compared to the rest of the season? You know, and you have your major games, you know, your Belmonts versus Guilford's or your Laconies versus Guilford or um, Winnesquam versus Newfound, you know, the Bear Cup, things like that. Um, 
and obviously those games, you know, you circle on, on the schedule and you and you make it work to the best of your ability to be able to get to wherever um, wherever those games are. But that that is you know, at least with the, the playoffs, it's a little easier because you're just looking at the bracket and everything's happening on the same day and the same time roughly. Um, so you just have to sit there and and figure out which game is is best and and everything but yeah i just i wanted to share that i wanted to peel back the curtain real quick and say hey look you know this is this is what we do um and i i've had students come up to me when i'm at games and i have a google drive a google doc a google spreadsheet that literally has everything written on it and uh, Google Spreadsheets the best thing to use if you're trying to be organ like organized um, because then I take that spreadsheet and I share it with all my subcontractors and even people who work for me temporarily um, like everybody knows Mr. Foley at Belmont High School he has access to that spreadsheet this way he can look and see what game we're covering and if he if he's able to announce it or if he wants to announce it um, I've gotten messages from other announcers who have had access to that spreadsheet and I forgot <laughs> that I gave them access so I just get a message hey so can I come to tomorrow's game at wherever and, and announce with you sure how did you know we were going there <laughs> oh right I gave you that oh right 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 um, but yeah so like that's an idea of what we have to deal with with scheduling and everything and then aside from that, you know, aside from scheduling, we have our own technical difficulties and our own technical stuff we have to figure out. Um, like before I was leaving to go to Campbell, um, which, by the way, I am in the queen city of Manchester now. Um, but before I was leaving to go to Campbell, I had um, that new computer for the Guilford crew that came in and I knew that I was going to be exhausted later so I scrambled to try and set it up and get it all ready to rock and roll this way I can hand it off to them to be able to use tomorrow um, but like there's there's an example you know there's an example of of me now juggling multiple things and it's it's um it's a lot of work it's a lot of work for little to no money at this point but you know what? That's a conversation for another day. Coming up on almost 40 minutes. I know I always said I wanted to keep these at like half an hour. But, oh well. So yeah. Um, what do we want to talk about now? Some of the cool things that we're going to do on this podcast um is one the more and more comfortable i get the more and more you'll see my personality and the quote unquote uncensored side of me um i will always be somewhat censored don't ever think that i'm going to come onto a pod, prod, a podcast and it's just going to be like one giant beep noise like <laughs> i <laughs> i will always censor myself you know professionally um but uh some of the things I think we're going to do is we'll have guest speakers, whether that be coaches or players or teams in general. Um, I think it'd be fun to be able to sit down with, you know, a, a soccer coach or whoever and talk about whatever sport we're talking about. Um, we do have a recorder, an audio recorder. So in theory, I could go up to a coach after a game and get a quick soundbite and then be able to put it into this podcast. Um, I really honestly do think the possibilities are absolutely endless with this podcast, and I think that with time, people are going to start to enjoy it, and people are going to start to, it's going to become a bookmark um, that you're going to want to listen to. Uh, right now, we're going to, as far as distribution and where to find it, we're going to continue to upload it to our YouTube channel, um, and as well as Apple Podcasts right now. Uh, there is a possibility that we're going to try and, I don't know, 
put it on like I, I think it's Spotify podcast. I don't really know. I don't listen to Spotify. I don't use I don't use Spotify for my music. I use Apple. Um, there goes half my listeners. Uh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But um, you know, I'm gonna look into possibly putting it on Spotify, maybe even SoundCloud. I don't know all the details to it. Um, but but yeah, so there, like I said, the possibilities are truly endless with this, with this podcast, and uh, I hope that all of you enjoy what we do, and don't forget that uh, we are always, 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 always open to feedback. Um, send us a message through our social media accounts. Uh, say, hey, you know, I liked what you were doing. What if you try this, or whatever? Um, you know, and obviously be nice about it because if you're not, I'll reference you back to the beginning of this podcast. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, no, but like, we're always open to feedback. And honestly, just to go come full circle real quick, um, I realized that in the beginning of this podcast, I made it kind of seem like, you know, if it's negative or if you give me negative feedback, I'm gonna like hate it. That's not it at all. It's the way you go about it. Um, and I know I kind of said this earlier, and I won't beat a dead horse, but, I mean, if you if you message me and you say, hey, you know, thank you for doing what you're doing. I did want to say, though, that, you know, you said something during a soccer game that I didn't really like. You know, I didn't really appreciate you calling so-and-so the shortest goalie in the division. Or, <laughs> um, inside joke, but... uh you know, oh, I didn't really, you know, I didn't like when you when you changed cameras real quick, or I don't like the, you know, I don't think the drone's a good option for this, you know, or something like that. That's okay. It's when you come at me and you say, you're, you know, you're dumb and you suck at what you do and, you know, you should close down business and go back to McDonald's, you know, or <laughs> I never worked at McDonald's, but you know what I'm trying to say, you know, they're... There are people out there who know how to give negative feedback correctly. And then there are people out there who think that they can just spew venom and they don't care about what the other person's going to say or feel. Um, so that I just want to say. So with this podcast, give us feedback. Let us know. Let us know. What do you want to hear as well? How long do you want it to be? Do you want us to do... 30 minute shows you want us to do 60 minute shows do you want us to break it up so like you know that the first 30 minutes is talking about something that grinds my gears and then the second 30 minutes is talking about you know behind the scenes or do you want it to just kind of be whatever i want it to be you know i'll always put in a description this way before you hit play you know exactly what you're listening to um and i'll always of course you know I don't want to say title the segment, but, you know, I won't just be like, blah. I'll always be like, this is what I'm going to talk about. Ready? Here we go. Um, so I think I, I personally think that's gonna, that would be mo the most fun for me. You know, whatever I feel like talking about, we plug into the recorder and put the headset on and go. Um, oh, and that's the other thing. That first podcast I really kind of screwed up the audio. I realized I had a couple people message me and say, why do you sound so sad? Or why do you sound dead inside? <laughs> um, <laughs> I will say that uh, I did not mean to sound dead inside or sad or depressed. Um, I can assure you that I am a very, very happy person. Um, but, <laughs> or most days I am. But, uh, that was me uh, learning how to record audio on this new uh, Zoom recorder that we have. Um, and hopefully this podcast sounds a little bit better um, because we're, we're using a little bit different uh, equipment. So anyways, so yeah, give us feedback. Let us know what you want. What do you want to hear? You know, do you want us to every at least once a week interview somebody? I mean, I'll go you know, to a gym after a practice or a game and say, hey, 
hey Drea, come on over here. Let's let's chat. You know, let's let's talk about your game last week. Let's talk about how things are going with with the team. You know, let's talk about this, and then you know, use that audio in the bro- in the podcast. Or are you thinking that you just kind of want to hear me talk for 45 minutes about whatever's grinding my gears that day? Just let me know. I'm fluent. I'm ready to do whatever you guys think is best. And I think that, the, like I said, the possibilities are endless with this podcast. And it's a great way for me to also um, get more content out there from a business standpoint. Um, anybody who's taking a business class, the more that you're out there, the more people know you and the more people are going to use you as a business. Um, so that's ultimately how I'm feeling about this. But we will keep it, keep this somewhat short. I'm actually about to show up at Campbell High School, um, which, yeah. So don't forget, this week is playoff week. Um, we have hockey playoffs in a couple weeks um after the february break but right now we're talking hoops <laughs> um all of our podcast all of our broadcasts not podcasts broadcasts can be seen for free live and on demand through dppgnetwork.com and don't forget that if something does go wrong where we lose a broadcast or uh, not lose lose the internet and we cannot live stream a game we will always have the game recorded and uploaded later that evening so that's going to do it. Um, like I said, I'm about to pull into Campbell High School's parking lot until we see each other for the next podcast. We want, I want to say thank you all so much for tuning in. Like I said, feedback, feedback, fe- feedback, feedback, feedback. Give me input. Let me know what you want. What do you want to hear? But until we see each other for the next go around, have a good night. Peace.